Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Kirsty and this is Stuck in the Mud. Please remember if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and it would be amazing if you could subscribe to my channel because it would help me out a lot. So thanks for watching today. What are we talking about? So we're going to talk about why can't I stop thinking and this is why. Here's why that happens because I have many days where I'll wake up and I'll have these looping, intrusive, unwanted thoughts and they're going round and around. And anyone who gets these, they're uncomfortable. You know, we don't like having them there. And the problem is when we're not accustomed with that we have some control over them, we think it's impossible. We think we're going to be stuck this way forever and we're never going to get better. And that is so far from the truth. OCD is such a treatable disorder. And I think sometimes we can get so frustrated and so like we're, we're stuck. We're just stuck. We feel like we can't get out of this loop. And I am here to tell you that you can. Now, I've had OCD for 40 years. I've dealt with it on and off to varying degrees. But one thing I will say and what I have learned is that thoughts happen to you. Do not blame yourself that you have OCD. These thoughts, they happen to us. We don't, you know, we don't deserve them. We don't bring them on ourselves. Thoughts happen to us, but guess what? we can control our thinking. Now, this is different. I did a video about this recently. Thinking is different. Thinking is different to thoughts. Thinking we can control, but intrusive thoughts, thoughts that we gather from our environment, from our life, you know, they just happen to us. We can't control them, but we can do something about it when we're getting the whole rumination or the thinking that, that comes along with OCD. And this is how we do it. So OCD wants your full attention. OCD wants to make you believe that you can solve this problem. So whatever intrusive thought it is, it wants you to think you can come to a conclusion that you're, a conclusion that you're satisfied with, but that won't happen. And that is the big lie with OCD, because the more we fight it, the more frustration, the more pushback we get with these, you know, these intrusive thoughts and thinking patterns we have around them. You know, we're just making the web bigger. So we get the intrusive thought. We can't control that. But then what we can do with this intrusive thought, we can stop it filtering off into lots of different thinking patterns and thinking, trying to figure out, trying to come to a conclusion. You know, this is the thing. Thinking needs participation. And if we can starve that participation, you know, we all think, you know, this is normal. We all do thinking. But when it's unhelpful, unhelpful thinking, so we're talking, we're trying to figure stuff out, trying to trying to get to some kind of resolve with it because these are this is unwanted thinking. This is we're talking about the thinking that's unpleasant. You know, it's given us a great deal of distress and it's very uncomfortable. We get a lot of negative emotions with it. You know, the the thought the thinking we don't want, the thoughts and thinking we don't want to hang around. You know, we want to get rid of it because we're like I don't really like thinking about this, but I can't get that thought out of my head. It is so so overwhelming, so frustrating, so scary sometimes because these thoughts aren't nice you know these a lot of the thoughts and thinking we get along with OCD isn't nice it's not pleasant at all and if we could just click our fingers and make it go away we would but it's not that easy so this is important we have to let those thoughts be there I talk about this a lot in my videos because this is key and this is life-changing it really is and this is where the big change for me happened like I say I've had this a long time I've tried a lot of different things but this actually works because if we can just let those thoughts be there you know we don't give it that 
participation. And this is where the thinking comes in because we don't often realise we're doing it. And once we can bring awareness to the fact that we're doing this, I remember, you know, I'd go in to see my therapist and I might have been having a bad week where, and she would ask me, you know, I get to fill in all the questionnaires and, you know, of how I'd been doing that week and maybe my mood had been quite low. And she would ask me about some things and she would realise, and I would realise then that I have been getting involved in these, in these thoughts, these intrusive, unwanted thoughts. And that was the participation that OCD wants. It wants you to try and problem solve and figure out, but you will never get to any kind of resolve with it. You will never get to the end of it because OCD will throw up lots of other intrusive thoughts into it and it just becomes a whole big ball of mess where we, we're we trying to solve something that can't be solved because, you know, these type of thoughts, you know, they're not ours. These are not our thoughts. You know, intrusive thoughts, they're not our own and I want you to really understand that. These are thoughts we gather from our environment, we're very sensitive people, people that suffer from OCD. And you don't deserve to have it rule your life to the degree it does, because I know how hard it is. I know how distressing and how just, you know, it, it steals your life from you. It really does. And we need to get to a point where we can recognize that we're doing this. And this is where the big change happened for me because I would realize that I had an intrusive thought and I would realize that how quickly I would start engaging with it, how much it flag my attention but like oh no I don't want to think about this and that is important because when we try and stop thoughts that's just an invitation for OCD to try and you know give you more it'll give you more of the same because our brain is recognizing this is important this thought because I'm giving it so much attention and OCD is like whoa you know it'll go to town with it it'll just really like embellish it and make it bigger and there we go we get that whole looping and getting bigger, the snowballs getting bigger, the OCD cycle just gets gets going, looping round and round and round. And, you know, it's hard at first because we, I think we're so well accustomed with trying to figure out our thoughts and trying to, to stop them, trying to change the channel with it because, like, you know, who wants to be thinking things like this all day? You know, thinking has its purpose, of course, you know, thinking we could have lots of good thoughts where we're thinking lots of happy, nice, flowery, wonderful things, and that's great. And that's fine. You know, thinking, you know, is planning your day, thinking, doing what you need to do, you know, thinking nice things, thinking of getting together with friends, thinking of, you know, doing something nice with your family, you know, that's all good planning. That's, that's good. That's good thinking. And it can go off into different areas and, and nice things. But when it's unhelpful and when we get intrusive thoughts and then we're getting involved with them, you see how your brain picks up on that and thinks, this is important. This is, this needs to be solved. This needs to, this needs to come to some kind of conclusion. But OCD won't let that happen. It'll just keep you round, throwing you back round and looping again and again and again and again. And, you know, we might engage in some type of compulsion, whether that would be mental rumination or, which is basically the thinking, um, you know, or we might engage in some physical compulsions because we're trying to relieve some of that, you know, frustration and all the uncomfortable feelings we get alongside it, all the emotions and the guilt and the shame of having these thoughts. And we'll try and neutralize it some way. So that would be in the form of, like I say, you know, you're going to start doing rituals, maybe some physical rituals and counting, checking and things like that. Or we might engage in the rumination. And this is the big problem. And I, and it, that, you know, it all comes hand in hand. Um, but the rumination and the thinking can, we can do something about this. And I really want to get this message out there because I'm really, you know, I'm really glad to see so many nice comments coming through to my channel with people saying that this really is really helping them and it's giving them a lot of hope and positivity that they can get better too because I know it is possible and I know you can live without OCD calling the shots anymore. And it is a treatable disorder, you know, do I feel like I don't have OCD now? 
I would say I do and I definitely have that kind of you know I do think maybe there's some biological reason that that I think that way and you know I obviously have fears and a belief system that's been built through my life that that kind of runs things and you know it'll trigger me when I when I hear certain things in the news or I you know I see certain topics discussed and you know these will trigger intrusive thoughts with me it doesn't it's not gone away you know every, and everybody gets intrusive thoughts to a degree but the problem with OCD is we can get hooked in we can it can reel us in and then we're off we're you know we're off trying to figure it out and you know it doesn't get us anywhere good you know we're not we're not coming to anything that is productive because OCD keeps wants to keep you trapped and it's not a good place to be because I've been there many times and what I would say though is you can do this you can get better like I say I always will have OCD but it doesn't control me you know I will get those triggers daily but I can get involved and it can take my participation with my thinking or I can let that thought be there so how do we do this we let the thought be there we don't engage with it and there's very subtle ways that OCD you know I talk about this in other videos where the subtle ways that OCD will try and try and catch you in and hook you into the thought and that's when the thinking starts and that's the unhelpful bit because we're now saying this is important I need to figure this out but you don't if you just let that thought be there so when you get these intrusive thoughts again it's not about not thinking I think people um confuse this a little bit you know I'm not saying not think at all this is not what I'm thinking you know you can have thoughts arise but and the thinking then is if it's unhelpful thinking so when you get an intrusive thought you can think right I know that's OCD trying to hook me in but I'm gonna leave it be I'm gonna let it do what it wants and it's having that kind of a relaxed awareness about this thought being there but not actively engaging with it so I hope that's really helpful to try and understand what I'm saying here because there's a very big difference between you know having the thought and thinking and having a thought and thinking unhelpfully and that is really like getting involved with it and just trying to pick it all apart and try and you know we're, we're trying to you know just really figure something out whereas we can have a thought and think about it but if it's if it's nice you know if it's comfortable and we're happy to think about it and it's it's worthwhile it's planning it's just you know doing things for your day and moving forward that's that's great but it's when it goes down the unhelpful route and I think when we can come to a place of understanding when we're doing that it just gets so much easier to recognize when we're we've got OCD kind of knocking at the door going hey come on you need to think about this, this is one of your fears one of your things that that kind of triggers you and upsets you and you know you're really sensitive to this information and it's just it's vying for your attention it wants you it wants you hooked it wants you to you know just fully in there fully trying to come to some kind of resolution and it won't happen because that's not how OCD works it lies it tells you that this is a good thing that you're trying to figure something out you know it's even trying to twist it in a positive way and try and make you think well this is good actually because we're figuring something out but it's not helpful because it'll just keep you trapped and um this has been like I say it's been amazing for me because I've really come to a place of understanding where OCD is trying to to get me to hook in and I can just let those thoughts be I have the relaxed awareness that they're there and it's, it's hard some days sometimes you feel like you're going crazy because these thoughts are looping around and you're thinking I've just read something disturbing or something that maybe upsets you, you know, and you can think, I'm going to be thinking about that all day now. And I get that a lot because I'll read things and they'll upset me and, you know, it'll, it'll trigger something in me and I'll think, what if I, I can't stop thinking about that? But that is an intrusive thought, you know, what if I can't stop thinking about this all day? That's OCD, you know, it's trying to grab your attention if I can think no come on you know how to do this you know how to deal with this we let that thought be there you know don't get involved it's something you can practice you know have, you know recognize that's an intrusive thought and think I'll let that be there I'm not gonna 
let it grab my attention. I'll, I'm aware of it, but I'm not doing anything with it. And the more you see the practice, it's great because you think well, this actually works. You know, you realize, you know, if you move forward with your day and you just do the daily things that you need to do, the helpful things that are productive for your day, you realize that those thoughts will fizzle out. They will fade away. And you think, you know what? I thought earlier that I was going to think about that all day, but I didn't. But then again, that could be OCD just trying to get you to hook back in and think, well, you, you remembered it now. But again, then you do the same thing. You let that thought be there. That's just another way of trying to grab your attention. It, I become quite good at recognizing that. And I, I know that you can all do that too. So I really hope you find this video helpful today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.